How Expert Top 10 Archery Tips How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Archery Tips. Number 10. Know your equipment. There are multiple different kinds of bows. The way you shoot a compound bow will not be the same as shooting a recurve. The arrows used for them aren't the same either. Using the wrong arrows on a bow can be very detrimental to your shot and even hurt you or others in some cases. Read up on your bow and know what you're doing. Number 9. Know yourself. Just because Joe next door shoots a 90 pound compound bow doesn't mean you can or have to do the same. Bows come in a variety of poundages. If you can't hold your bow steadily for at least 30 seconds without shooting or losing your grip on the string, it isn't right for you. Alternatively, if your arrow can't reach your target, you need to build up your strength until you can. It's all about finding a middle ground. Number 8. Be sure not to make contact with the string. Nothing hurts worse than a bowstring catching you on your face or arm after you let go. And to make matters worse, you probably won't hit a bullseye. There are arm guards sold online and in archery stores that can stop the string from rubbing your arm if this is a common occurrence for you, but your shot will still be thrown off. This commonly happens if you tilt your head too far to the side or if you twist your arm while aiming. This leads us to the next point. Number 7. Keep your stance consistent. The more you move, the further off your shot will be. Keep your feet flat on the ground, your arms level with your outer foot straight forward, and your inner foot facing slightly towards the target. If you are shooting with a left-handed bow, your inner foot will be your right. If you're shooting with a right-handed bow, your inner foot will be your left. This is the basic stance for archers. Always keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. Some beginners feel the urge to lean forward or back to see where their arrow is going. Don't. Moving even less than an inch out of place will ruin your shot. Number six, find your appropriate draw length. Your height and wingspan dictate what your draw length should be. For example, someone who is 5'3 will not be able to pull a bow belonging to someone who is 6 feet to the proper length. The arrow will come off the bow crooked and likely won't reach the target. You can find charts and formulas online for different types of bows and the lengths you'll need. Some archery stores can help you figure out what is right for you as well, if you ask. Number 5. Don't underestimate blank bale shooting. When I first started shooting around the age of 9, I was taught that the only thing that matters is hitting the bullseye. But how are you supposed to hit the bullseye consistently if you can't get your arrows in a group? You don't always need to have something specific to hit or a far off distance to shoot from. Just stand, shoot, and try to make sure all of your arrows are going in the same direction. This not only helps you visualize where you're going, but it will help you make sure that your stance and draw are correct. When you start going in the right direction, then you can back up to 10, 20, or 30 meters and start aiming for score. Number 4. Time is key. It's a natural reaction to want to release your arrow as soon as you pull back the bow. Don't. Even if it feels like you've aimed, you haven't. Get your aim, take a breath, and then let the string slip off of your fingers. When you let go of the string, don't rush to see where it landed until you hear the arrow hit the target. If you move too soon, you could throw the arrow off course, and you will regret it. When in doubt, take a breath, and then move. Rushing is the key to failure in archery every time. Number 3. See an eye doctor. Most people don't have 20-20 vision. Vision means everything in archery. Whether you're in tournaments or hunting, if you can't see the target, you can't hit it. Of course, there have been cases where there have been blind archers, but it definitely helps to be able to see. On top of this, your eyesight decides whether you shoot left or right-handed. If you see the best out of your left eye, you need a left-handed bow, and vice versa. This is because your left eye would be the one you use to look down the shaft of the arrow at your target. If your eyesight is off, your shot will be as well. Number 2. Practice makes perfect. No one reached perfection overnight. You'll miss the target. You'll damage arrows. You won't get 10 arrows in the bullseye right off. 
Expect less from yourself and you'll improve faster. It's important to let yourself make mistakes because you won't know what you need to change to get better if you don't. Whether you have a couple of hours a day to practice every week, use that time to track what you're doing wrong and change it. Number one, stay calm. You'll hear this advice a million times if you ask any experienced archer. Breathe. Panicking over how well you're doing or how much you're improving will do nothing but throw your shots off. Keep your breathing natural. Don't tense up. And do the best you can. You won't be perfect when you first start. Just stay calm. Have fun. And shoot. When you panic, you tense up. When you tense up, you hold your bow too tightly to have an accurate shot. As long as you breathe, practice, and stay slow, you'll do well. Even if it takes a while to get there. Many people practice for decades until they're happy with their skill level. You're doing great. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you. Have an amazing day and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.